Hi everybody, my name is Mike Tomorrow, and I want to welcome you to the last episode of My Life with Asperger's. I'm sorry that I have not been doing videos for the past few weeks here. I've been busy and I've been stressful with things that are happening in my life. But anyways, I am back and I'm ready to do some videos for you and to catch up on you what's have been happening in my life over the next few videos. I'm not going to talk about everything in one video, of course, but I'm just saying I'll catch up everybody on future videos in the upcoming weeks and so on and so forth. But anyways, I want this video to talk about the Orlando walk that happened back on November 10th for Autism Speaks. It went pretty well. My team, it is incredible. We raised over $1,500 for the walk. And you know what caused that? We got to do give back nights. We had some good friends that were donating to us. We had, we had other people that helped us raise the money too. I'm proud of everybody who raised money for the walk because, you know, it was a very successful walk for our team. It was the first time that our team made it over $1,000. It was the first time that our team made it over $1,500. And you know what happened? Thanks to fundraisings that we had, first of all, I was able to make the Grand Club. And for people that don't know the Grand Club, it's anybody who raised a thousand dollars or more for the walk. You get a special pin, and you also get a special area where you have special food and drinks and all that. Now, the other thing is, our team also raised over fifteen hundred dollars. What does that entitle you? Well. If you raised over $1,500 for a team, that entitles you and the team members to go to Team Village, which is the same area as Grand Club, like I explained before. Now, the difference between the Grand Club and Team Village is it's individuals that raised $1,000 and it's teams that raised $1,500. Mike's pals did both, and I'm very proud of the members that we have. Now, it was a very successful walk, and I'll tell you why it was very successful, and that is because we had succeeded our goal. Not only our team succeeded our goals, but the walk succeeded their goals too. They raised over $250,000 at the walk on Saturday, and or last Saturday, excuse me. And it also had 7,000 people walking. Now, if you're wondering the entertainment, there was entertainment. We had a DJ that came. Um, the MC of the walk was Jim Payne from WESH, West to News, which is the NBC affiliate here in Orlando. Um, Keith Landry was there from WOFL, Fox 35, which is the Fox affiliate down here in Orlando. Mm, let me think who else. But basically, we had a good entertainment. We had good crowds. The resource fair vendors were good. I'm very thankful I got to meet them. and You know what I mean? So, anyways. It was very successful, it was a very nice day out. Everything went smoothly. Now, I was working registration tent over near the NBC Suites Hotel, and I heard that our tent, our registration tent, raised more money than the other registration tent, the main one, on the other end of the park. Our team did very good. Our registration tent team did very good, and I'm and I want to thank those people who came and volunteered and helped me out over at the registration tent. Everything went smoothly. So I'm very proud of that. 
and I'm very proud of the way that we work together as a team. The whole walk committee, which I'm on, did a very good job putting on this walk. And I can't thank them enough. They are a second family to me. Even though people consider my work family to be a second family to me. No, I don't consider them a second family. And I don't consider my neighbors here as my second family. I consider my walk to committee for the Orlando Walk to be my second family. So I consider them part of my family. I'm very thankful to know everybody who is on the Walk Committee. And I'm very thankful that I get to know them on a personal basis as well. They are a great team to work with. And no matter what happens, I hope to continue working with them for years to come. Because they are a great team to work with. Anyways. I am very proud of our team. We had 12 people registered online for our team. Two of those happened to be my mom and dad. But obviously, they couldn't make it to the walk because that was the same day they were heading home to Massachusetts with my sister and brother-in-law. Even though I tried to get them to come before going home. But you never... Well, you... There was a storm called Sandy that impacted the Northeast, too, so they wanted to go home, and they weren't sure how the roads were going to be in New Jersey. So, they did the right thing by leaving. Well, I was disappointed that they couldn't come, but I understood, too. So, but yes, I was very proud of how many members we got to join the team. And also my cousins, my dad's cousins couldn't make it to the walk because my cousin had to work. And that's understandable too. But anyways, we got a good majority of the 12 members to come. That was very good. We also were able to get five people that same day registered for the walk. And I'm very happy about that. We got five new members joining our team. One of them was a friend that I knew from work, and four of them were just complete strangers. And I invited them to join our team. One of the groups of people was a dad and his two children. I had them join my team, because they were probably looking for a team to join. So I let them join my team. And it was very nice of them to join my team. I helped them out with the registration process, so in return, I let them join my team. And I was very happy about that. And I'd rather have them join my team. The more people I get to meet, the more people I can become friends with, the more likely that I'll keep in contact with them year in and year out. You know? But anyways. It was a beautiful day to come out to the walk. And... The walk was decorated nicely. I was not able to take a lap around the lake. I wish I did. But I had to work. And work at the walk. And it was very important for me to get the work done. And I had to be responsible for getting the work done. So that means I had to do what needed to be done. And everything else. Within my area. And I also had to check out Team Village because that was our because our team was able to do that. Green, uh, Grand Club Team Village area, I should say. But it's called Team Village. Anyways, I did appreciate everybody who did come out and help. I'm very thankful for that. And I can never thank people enough. My fundraising started in January with the uh, Afghan raffle. Um, I have not drawn the winning ticket yet, or notified the winning people yet, of the Afghan raffle. But I should real soon, because this Afghan is still in my home, and I need to get rid of it. So I have to do it. Also, I was thankful for our gift back nights at Chili's. They were able to help us out in giving money. Now, I'm looking for more Give Back Nights next year to do. But, I'm going to change the location to spice it up a little. 
I'm looking into Flipper's Pizza down here in Orlando area. I'm looking into uh, other places like Ruby Tuesdays up in New England. So we can get some money raised that way. I do want us to make our team goal again. Hopefully we can make the $1,500 again for next year's walk. Whether I'm here or not, I do want to raise the $1,000 at least so I can be in the Grand Club again. You know? There is still hope and pray that I will be down here again. I will still be living in the Orlando area. Don't know where yet. I don't want to explain my living arrangements just yet. I don't want to explain it in public, so if you want to message me on Facebook or message me by email or message me by YouTube, I can explain to you what's going on. And hopefully everything will work out where I can still stay in the Orlando area and still be on the Orlando Walk Committee. And have a good time and hopefully I can see all my friends and family again. Even though I don't really have that much family down here. I consider my friends down here in Orlando to be my family. You know, the way that they help me out and all that. I love my Orlando community. I love helping out the city of Orlando the best that I can with the walk. You know, I network with people all the time. I've been to Fort Myers and Jacksonville and West Palm Beach this year and Daytona, Tampa. I've been to all their walks too and network. But nothing compares to the way the Orlando Walk has run. The Orlando Walk this year was the best walk that I ever worked, the best walk that I ever attended, the best walk that I was on the committee for, and it's thanks to all the teamwork that everybody has given. To the Orlando community, to the walk committee, I can't thank everybody enough because you guys are all good friends of mine. You guys are all like family to me, even if I adapted Orlando as my new hometown, my hometown area. I love the city of Orlando and the surrounding area here. I'm very thankful for the friends and family that supported me. I'm living here in Orlando. I'm very thankful that the walk went well. I'm just very thankful for everybody's help this year at the walk, whether you came or not. I'm very thankful. So I hope to continue being down here so I can go to the Orlando walk again next year and being on the committee for that and work in my registration tent and hopefully I can do more marketing out there and networking so that a bigger opportunity can come my way and I'm very thankful for everybody that has helped me and I hope and I thank you in advance for helping me out again in the future okay I'll speak to everybody later I hope you guys continue watching my videos, and if this is your first video you have watched, welcome aboard. You guys will love my videos, I do, and talking about my life with Asperger's. So, I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye.